All right, so you can do like. How do you fix a little? Uh, yes, I always get this for uh, some reason. Uh, turn up your uh, or turn down your like move to like zero point zero one. Something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. It always has to be passed with the uh, as a uh, method, though, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just test method, right? So self here, you know. And then slowly move it forward uh, and backward. Or we do self. Or we'll do. Oh no, wait! Move the negative part in. You know. And let's do self dot name equals test or something, you know. So then if I go over here and oops into here where I acquired this right, and I can do like module colon test method, right? I'll show you that you don't want to do anything first, you know, because we're not calling that. We didn't, we didn't, like we didn't call it. So we call it no first, right? But if we call that, you know, print self done. I'm just call it like, you know. Let me try that. Oh, so like it's like a variable that crosses through scripts, kind of. Oh, it's so table, it's within you know? itself. To this, you know, and you can do self, which is referring to this, right? And so you're going to be calling this method, yeah. which is a part of this, you know, because it's a function, you know. But self, you're putting also a self. You're putting a variable in there when you do this, you know. Self that name, the new variable oh, that you're putting in there. Oh, that's the other one. That's test. You know. Mm, so it's going to print test when you call test method. Yeah, because we're because we're calling get. Get name here, yeah, and then it'll change the name. To, well, it'll add the variable in there, and then it'll be there. Without so this, self it'll be is new. like the module script itself. Self is this table, but it can only be passed. Like if you do a function module dot new or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. self, you cannot access self. I don't think. See. Mm. But that's why you have to do set meta table for if you want to do it. Uh. Not necessarily, but the meta table lets you do a few things actually. So when you you know what a meta table does? No. So basically, a meta table is your way of, I guess, uh, kind of configuring. I guess I can show you kind of what a quick basic. So we can do like I'm gonna rename this module to like class, all right? Because this is like the most you know. Yeah. Class. Dot under index. The best way that someone explained it to me, they just said like it's oh, like right. just remote events inside Class, of a table. Function, you know, class dot new object, right? This would be like a basic like class setup, you know. Mm -hmm. And we can do self. Uh, we're gonna do uh, local self Mango. set meta table, right? Mango. Boom! You're yeah. creating a new, we're creating a new meta table for class, right? Mango. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a brick cutter or no? Mm. Well, what's that? Do some uh, like yeah, I'll drop you in the link. Or self dot properties, you know, anything like that. We can create whatever yeah. we want here. Right? So color equals brick color dot new. Red. I don't know. Yeah. yeah oh, may you DM me the plugin? Turn self here, right? Yeah. We're mm -hmm. gonna turn self on this one because this is our class. You know, we want to turn the class. Yeah. So now we do this now, right? If we do like you know, class, class, right? Class that new it doesn't really matter because we didn't define anything in there really anyway. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, we're gonna do like, actually wait like local like object even you know let's create a new object for that class, right? Yeah. So this will, will create its own variables pretty much set for this, you know? That's what makes this really cool. So then we can do this, right? So this object. I don't know what the meta can, table does. Though. I'm gonna show you that right now. Ready? So normally, uh, I don't know if this is making sense. You're not like getting, you're getting what's happening so far, though, right? Mm, so if we do like, a bit. so now we've created a new. So this is a basic class system, right? So you probably heard classes and object yeah. orientation. You know, classes are ways of like, you know, creating like people and you know what I mean, whatever you know. <laughs> So basically, what we're gonna do now is it's a way of managing objects, of objects. classes, you know. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is if we do class, you know, colon you know, test update or something, you know what I mean? I change bright color or something. Yeah, test. 
Oh, yeah, we can, we can mango out. Help you. Print the color. Print out color in there, right? And then the self dot color equals brick color dot new red. And actually, I'm gonna create two. How does it know what? Actually, actually, what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna do this. Actually, we're gonna change it to the new color, right? So we're gonna create new. Um, I wanna create an object. All right. Um, I want to um create a new. I wanna create two different ones. That's why I'm gonna do this. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, print the old color, you know. Actually, I'll do this. I'll do it like this. Print. Print old. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, Mango, I'll teach you how to use it right now. I'll just color it. Oh, okay. Come on. New. How does it know what self is? Self is just automatically passed in between this, all right? But I'm going to show you how, yep. why this is kind of confusing so far in a second, all right? But it'll make sense in a second. Ooh, is that like an observatory? Uh, Ooh. Gosh, you got... Uh, I'm That's pretty that. good, Bob. All right, so, all right? Yeah. So now we're getting the old and the new, right? So what we'll do here is we'll just like we're actually we're gonna do something with this actually, right? Mm -hmm. We'll set self dot like identity equals class one or, or equals object, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, could I get somebody's help with a uh, our UV texturing Why problem? Um. So what we'll do is like class that new and be like class one, right? Yeah. Object one. See a little bit of an OOP lesson right here. Mm. Right. Uh, class two, right? Yeah. So now if we do like object one, call on test update. I think we call it. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what he. Oh, so it inherits all its methods. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do like lime green, right? So red is the default. Is that like an observatory or something? Yep. Nice. Mango. Right, so if we run this now, right? Uh, line 8, call it null table values. There's line 8. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Give me a second. I forgot what's going on here. Ooh, it's brick color dot new. Not brick color. Oh, uh, yeah. But. I don't know if that's going to fix it or not. I think it might be a different year. No, it is right. So it does work. Old, really red, new, right? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so let me see the module switch real quick. Okay, so you oh. call that. So watch, I'll show you that. If you, take, if you don't set the first index of it, you know, it will not work. Why not? Because, so what meta tables do, right, uh, is you could. Um, Watch, I'm going to show you something. Oh, but, oh, oh, index is like a meta method, yeah. Yeah, it's a meta method. So and when you can... index it, it has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So you have to define that. Okay, that makes sense. So it's basically like, you know, a default table for like, you know, some nil values. You can attach two tables together, basically what is a meta table. And how does that help? Because essentially you're attaching these two tables together, right? Uh -huh. And so once you do that, it's trying to index class, right? It doesn't find it. But since you have a meta table set up for it, it's going to return class now, right? And class has all these cool... It's a module script, right? So yeah. class has all these awesome, you know, methods that you've created, you know, for mm -hmm. your class, basically, right? Yeah. So then you're able to call those in an LA script, you know, because you're, once class it's returning that whole table with all the methods in it, you know? So I guess I can show you kind of a setup with my oh, weapon. Oh, that's why it returns um, all those cool methods. Yeah, because that because ah. you're setting the meta table to basically you're adding a table to this table. Uh huh. And um, so once you set the meta table to it, um, basically the uh, once you're trying to index it, the default oh. thing would say you know to not it would return nil you know, but since you're uh, addressing the meta method to 
set index equal to this class instead of nil, you know? Mm -hmm. Then, so that's why you're able to do this here. So I can show you an example with my weapon framework here, actually. Now that you kind of can see it now, right? So yeah. basically here's where I'm doing the, where I'm creating each class, you know, for each weapon, you know? I'm going to yeah. eventually set this up into a table or a loop that's just going to go through your inventory, you know? Mm hmm but basically in creating the class that new object, you know, basically what that does, it just sets all the predefined self variables. Um, yeah. It loads all the animations into that model and everything. Uh, this would be really all right. Helpful. I gotta go, guys. All right. But all right. I got the about. observatory done, so it looks so good. That looks sweet. From the highlight, I can see. Yeah. Hmm. You must be rich. So then. You know, basically, I don't have to really, it's object oriented, you know, at this point, so I don't really have to focus on anything just but that one object, you know, for the time. I don't have to worry about each gun, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I can self, no matter what, I'm always just addressing the currently equipped gun, you know? I don't have to worry about other ones being equipped, etc. Yeah. And if I do, it's because something's happening here. Oh, Dominic, give, right, me give me uh, give me an example. Oh shit, so I can like I try my name because that's what right. the thing is. Oh, guys, get you an example to try making. Yeah. yeah. Plus system to try making. Mango DM. Yeah, much. I mean, like easy. I'm trying to think of something. Let me think. Mm. Something mm. simple. Mm. Oh shit! Valley King just sent me something really cool. Meta table learning. Yeah. Well, I just gave you probably the most advanced rundown and end up to make you understand. Oh, not. you just copied what you did. That's actually kind of kind of. That's actually kind of. Really? Nice. What is yeah. it? He uh co he copied uh what you did. Who did? Oh, I had the file. Uh, Value King. Oh, he did. He copied the. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking nice. Thank you, Value. Hmm. You walk the scripting tutor. <laughs> I'm learning as well. Did you like that value? Yeah, I know the helpful? basics. Like you can add, you can do under, underscore underscore add. I'm pretty yeah. sure you can cool things. There's different meta methods that you can use. Yeah, once you get into meta table, they're actually pretty neat. They're really helpful. A lot of people don't really understand why at first, what you can do with them, because it really doesn't seem that useful when you look at like what they're kind of used for. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of like a case by case scenario, I guess. But once you find the perfect method for them, they're they're nice. All right, give me a uh, give me give me an example. I would say like let me think. I don't know. You could do like a data store system where it would create like a class for each player or something like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or possibly, I don't know. Right, I'll do that. I'm still here, like I think other than weapon framework I could think of at the moment. You can use a class system for. <laughs> Wait, can you sue Roblox because you're losing clients because of Roblox not fixing your studio? No. Probably not. Mm. I'm sure they got something in their TOS for that. So I'll bring you right back. Uh, local space and global space movement is so a good update.
What up, man? Yeah. A lot of people also use meta tables when they're making like their their game framework, their game frameworks and stuff like that. You know, yeah, they're making their custom like, game engine and stuff like that to load all their modules and stuff like that, so everything's all organized. Mhm. Mm and then they can inject, you know, pretty much 